Hey guys, it's Sam Giannis from Third Beat Studios with another verse of the day. Um, every week I like to jump on here and do a, at least one verse of the day about business. Um, you know, I'm in the middle of my career path right now, um, and I've seen a lot of different careers in my lifetime, believe it or not. I've, I've had a lot of different jobs, and it's given me some good perspective so that whether or not you're the staff member or the boss, you understand both sides of the story and how important that they are working together. And when they're not working together, things go awry. So how do we behave at work? What do we do at work? What do we do for work? These are questions that I'm sure all of us have. So we're gonna answer them. Um, before we do that, I've been talking about a couple of things. You know, last time I spoke of contentment. Um, this is something that's really important too, which is fair play. Listen, I have done a lot of deals where I was the leader of the deal, the organizer of the deal, whatever you have, or I was a part of the deal, or I was affected by the deal because I worked for the company that the deal had been, so on and so forth, right? I've seen a lot of customers get great deals and great terror and get terrible deals. Um, I am constantly reminded of what Proverbs 11.1 1 tells us because in my career, the reason I've seen success is I tried to always make sure that the other side was getting a better deal than I was. I never wanted to have resentment. I always took my fair share and made sure and, and, and distribute the rest amongst those who were either working for me or working with me, right? So go ahead and get your Bibles and your highlighters out because today's lesson is an important one. Let's jump into Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1, and it tells us this. It says, dishonest scales are an abomination to the Lord but a just weight is his delight. That's real simple, right? If your scale is dishonest, that is an abomination to the Lord. That is not a place you wanna find yourself. So do the right thing. Make sure that the deal is fair. Make sure that if they're paying you an hourly wage to be somewhere, that you're not spending that time in the bathroom, right? Make sure that if you're the one giving the hourly wage, that it's fair and you're not taking advantage of somebody in a bad position. The government's not gonna do it for us, guys. It's up to me and you. Let's do it together. I love you guys so much. I'm praying for you always. If you need prayer, reach out. Guys, like and share. Send this thing around the internet. And until next time, God bless. Hit the subscribe button and share it with the world.